This morning I uh, did something that uh, I had time to do. I was surfing through Facebook a little bit and came across a video about 18 minutes long of a taxi driver who picked up some people who were running out of that horrible scene in Las Vegas. Uh, one of them had a broken leg. None of them had been shot, but they had blood from the victims on them. Just a traumatic thing. And I, I was going to click it off because I pretty much had my fill of this, but I just felt like I was supposed to watch it. And I continued to watch this thing. It was 18 minutes long. And uh, this taxi driver starts to hear the gunfire and then starts to see people running out of the venue. And then people start jumping in the, the taxi driver's car. And the conversations and the trauma and the calls home and all of that and I watched it not from a voyeuristic sense at all but from a place where I just wanted to know uh, and share this may sound strange in the sufferings of others because I want to I want to emerge from that with a sobered sense of my own reality and I, boy it did it was uh, I'm still kind of shaken from it and I thought you know in my own life some of you know that I've been a pastor now for 37 years, and before that, for nine years, I was a cop. And I was on a SWAT team. I was an entry guy, first guy through the door. I was a hostage negotiator. I was a combat firearms instructor. I was in great shape. I was really prepared for anything. What I've come to realize about life is there are some things you can't prepare for. There are things that come your way that you can choose to be so ready for but your training and your background can't get you through it. And the only thing that you can get through these horribly difficult times of life is after you've done everything that you can, stand and trust. In fact, Paul talks about putting on all this armor of God. And what do you do with it? You stand there. And I think some of you who have raised kids are wondering when the kid's going to turn around. You've lived ready. You've done everything you can. But now it's in the child's hands as an adult to make their decisions. Some of you have made financial decisions. Some of them have worked out. This is time to trust God. And you may be thinking about going to a concert yourself. You can do everything you can to get ready for that. But you just have to trust God. You see, trust is a dangerous thing to the works of darkness because trust says, I'm not gonna let this life be robbed of the goodness that it has. And you can live ready and be prepared, gear up as much as you can. One thing I've learned about life, it can throw a wrench in the works real quick. And if you're somebody that doesn't have in the depths of your back pocket, the ability to trust God, when those horrible things happen, there may not be recovery. As I watched that video today, I just prayed over those poor people that had to see that and experience that. My prayer for them and my prayer for you is in the middle of all of this stuff, we learn to trust God. It's not being foolish. Prepare, do all you need to do. Don't live in paranoia and fear, but prepare. But at the edge of your preparation, as far as you can take it, then God has to pick it up. And in that place, he'll walk you through the pain and sorrow of this world as long as you're just willing to trust him. Take care.